There are a lot of cheap t-shirts out there, and there's also a lot of expensive t-shirts out there. But what makes a t-shirt cheap, and what makes a t-shirt expensive? There's a lot of different factors to take into consideration when trying to gauge whether a shirt is worth it, whether the quality of the garment justifies the cost. But it's also not just about the garment. It could be the packaging, it could be the marketing, it could be the name, all types of stuff really. Like where's the fabric from? Where's the cotton grown? What's the grade of the cotton? Is the t-shirt from loop wheel cotton? Does it have side seams? What kind of collar does the t-shirt even have? There's a lot of different factors that add to the final cost of the shirt itself. I've been on the hunt for the perfect white t-shirt for a long time now, and the closest that I've ever come to perfection was the left field tees, but the search for the perfect white t-shirt never stops. And recently I was introduced to this brand called Lady White Co. that makes some of the most premier luxury cotton t-shirts literally ever, and these t-shirts are $110. That's a really hefty price tag for a two pack of t-shirts, especially if you want to stay loyal and you only want to wear one brand of t-shirt. To get a whole wardrobe of these is going to cost a lot of fucking money, but is the Lady White Co. 2 pack actually worth it? Today, we're going to find out. So here I have the Lady White Co. 2 pack white t-shirts, and basically what I'm holding right now is the washed and the unwashed, because I wanted to compare the feel, the size, the way that it looks when it comes to the washed versus the unwashed version of this shirt, and I definitely have to say I really was impressed. Let's start off with the packaging. I really think a hefty chunk of the cost really goes into the packaging itself. The experience that Lady White Co. delivers upon receipt really is something that's truly remarkable. I mean, they were really able to make me feel almost like I was unpacking a really expensive bottle of wine. I mean, there were so many layers of packaging to this that were so cleanly done and felt so beautifully luxurious, all the way from the custom fitted box that they shipped the shirts in, to the dust bag, which the shirts actually came in, to the packaging inside the dust bag, which really surprised me because the presentation was truly beautiful. It was elegant, it was classy, and you had a flasher with a very simple design aesthetic and some light instructions on care. This experience was really starting to become something that I was falling in love with. As I unpacked the t-shirts and I unboxed them, I started to notice that the t-shirts were a little bit of an off-white color as opposed to the white which I had ordered, but I really wasn't that upset about it because I was like, alright, maybe that's just how they make their whites. The first time I felt the fabric of this shirt, I was truly impressed at how rugged yet smooth and how ultimately luxurious this shirt actually really felt. And basically when it comes to expensive t-shirts, for those who really don't know, t-shirts are actually supposed to break in and get softer over time with wear, with with wash. These t-shirts almost had a little bit of a broken in feel already and then I noticed that these t-shirts were actually sanforized which if you've been on this channel before you know that we use that term a lot in the denim head community because it refers to the pre-shrinking, the initial washing at the factory, and any cinching, any finishing details to the fabric that have to be done before delivering the garment to the consumer. So Lady White Co. actually pre-shrunk and sanforized their garment to make sure that the size that you get is gonna stay that size. But the fabric all also just feels finished so beautifully and I really couldn't wait to put these on. So let's get down to the fit. When it comes to Lady White Co's fit, they fit very true to size and it's not a 100% tailored fit. It's also not a 100% loose baggy fit like you see in everyone wear these days. It's really somewhere timeless and in between, which I think is very appropriate for a shirt that you're expecting to have for a long time because you are paying $110 for two shirts and you wanna be able to transcend the seasons with these t-shirts for a very long time. So so you really want that timeless kind of fit that's really going to lend itself well to any fashion trend. So the investment in these shirts is definitely there if you're looking for a very timeless minimalist kind of wardrobe and you don't really abide by trends but you want something that's quality that's going to look good that you only have to buy once and you're going to wear it for a long time. With me I would have preferred a little bit more of a looser fit so instead of getting a medium next time I will go with the large and for reference I have a 39 chest, a 33 stomach or waist, and a 37 hip or seat. And I really love the length of these shirts. I just wish there was a little bit more of a looser fit on the t-shirt because I do like an oversized fit now, but that's 100% on me. And the medium does not fit bad. It actually hugs the body very nicely but it's not constricting and the fabric feels amazing on the skin. Speaking of the fabric, let's talk about the fabric. So when it comes to the fabric of Lady White Co., basically what their whole business model is revolved around is the fact that all of the cotton that they source for their garments is within 10 miles of their Los Angeles headquarters. So basically you have a very direct cotton to garment system where they can really monitor the quality of the garments, the quality of the cotton, and they have a very hands-on approach to all of their American-made garments. This cotton has a really interesting feel to it that's kind of hard to connect 
convey over the video because it's really something that's truly interesting. It has a really nice dense kind of feeling to it, but it's not exactly heavy. And it also has a really nice soft feel, but it's not buttery soft. It's still a little rugged. There's some slub. There's not a ton of slub, which gives the t-shirt a little bit of texture. But the best way that I could really convey the feel of the shirt is that it feels very crisp. They use the term dry on their website. And to me, yeah, I could see that it's a little dry, but dry kind of has a negative connotation to me because it really doesn't feel bad at all. In fact, I think it's quite the opposite. I would say that this t-shirt fabric feels very, very crisp. It feels cool to the touch. It feels breathable. It has body. It has density. It sits on the body very well. It has a little bit of structure, but it's still very freeing. And it's really just a very interesting t-shirt. Now let's talk about the color. So what was interesting about the color when I unpacked the shirt, like I said, it definitely had that off-white kind of color to it. And I wasn't truly upset about it, but I could see someone who wasn't expecting something like that and doesn't want an off-white shirt might have been upset about it. But one thing I have to recommend to you is wash the t-shirt. I was very, very surprised at how bright white the t-shirt got after I washed it. So I gave one of the t-shirts a really nice cold wash with a little bit of detergent to kind of break it in and to kind of simulate some wear. And I was very surprised at A, how bright white the color got and B, how I really didn't even need to iron the shirt. The fabric of this shirt has so much structure to it that I took the shirt out and I laid it flat to dry and I literally am able to wear it without having to iron it. That to me actually really impressed me and it's almost scary how much higher in luxury we can go from Lady White Co. t-shirts. As you can see, the color of the t-shirts is very different, pre-wash versus post-wash and also the texture of the fabric really got a lot slubbier. It looks almost completely different and it definitely feels a lot more dense, a little bit more heavy, but as with denim, I think with a little bit more of a break-in and some more wear, I think the t-shirt is really going to soften up beautifully. All right, so let's talk about the construction. The construction of these t-shirts is exactly what I expected. Nothing more, nothing less. The construction is super clean. There's almost no loose threads at all. Even on the hem, you barely see any fabric left on the seam allowance, which is very rare and also very hard to do on this type of hem for a t-shirt. There's no side seams at all due to the tubulinate construction, which is A, a very time consuming and very expensive process. And B, it adds to the cost of the t-shirt, but it gives so much of a better fit and a better drape, more structure, and just gives a really nice look. The inside of the armhole and the shoulder seams are done perfectly. The machine that was used to stitch these pieces together was calibrated literally perfectly. And my favorite thing about this shirt is definitely the collar because I feel like t-shirt collars are always the first thing to go, but this is a binded double needle stitch collar, which is gonna ensure that this collar is gonna last a really long time and it's not gonna get wavy, it's not gonna look stupid, and it's just gonna maintain its elegant presence, much like you would expect from a $110 t-shirt. These t-shirts are truly something special and the experience is absolutely amazing. But are these t-shirts worth $110? My answer, it really depends. I would say for someone who really bounces around from fashion trend to fashion trend, would probably not want to invest this much money in a t-shirt because it's either going to be too slim or too loose. And I think you're going to be unhappy with the way that the shirt fits over time. If you really bounce around between oversized, skinny slim, all types of stuff, cropped, so if that's the type of person that you are, I probably wouldn't invest the money in these. If you want something really nice to lounge around in in the house and you want something that's gonna last you a long time, that's gonna feel good, that's gonna look good, then these shirts are definitely worth it. Okay, so since my audio corrupted, it's a new day, but we're just gonna pick up where we left off. If you're a minimalist and you want a quality item that's gonna last you a long time, you really don't necessarily care about fashion trends. You just want something that you know looks good on you, something that's gonna stand the test of time, something that's truly a timeless silhouette with a good quality fabric and great quality construction, then yes, the investment in these shirts is definitely for you. It's really all subjective. It really depends on how you look at things, how much you consume in terms of menswear, and what it is you're really looking for. Because like I said, this is a luxury garment. It's not exactly a fashion, trendy, modern kind of garment. It's just a really timeless, good quality garment that's gonna last you a very long time and doesn't necessarily abide itself to any trends at all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really appreciate the support on the latest videos. Make sure to join my Discord. We're trying to get really active on that. So the link is gonna be in the description below. And let me know if you have any ideas or any videos that you wanna see. And let me know if you want me to continue this journey on trying to find the perfect white t-shirt. And it really is a never ending journey because everybody's needs, their perspective, their utility, everything is different. But I definitely had a lot of fun with this. And to be honest, I really feel like everybody should experience what it's like to purchase t-shirts from Lady White Co. just once at least. Thank you guys again and I'll see you next week.